Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is so good to see you guys again here with me. And I am excited to share with you that I have decided the future of uh, this character. The future of this character uh, is that he is going to be a ranger. Now, a ranger is a form of Aradin that uses a bow. And um, there are some very uh, uh, interesting things that we can do here. Let me make sure uh, everything is right here. One sec. Hello, hello. Right, and one other thing. I don't know if you know this or not, but I have a lot of menus. <laughs> I'm just going to confirm real quick that we're actually streaming. And, yep, there it is. Very good. Actually streaming. Wonderful. So, that being said, let's, uh, let me show you what I'm doing. I picked up the entire Aratha set uh, because it gives me a huge boost to my experience, not my experience, a huge boost to my um, resistances. But in addition to a huge boost in resistance, I get a great boost to my dexterity and it gives me 24% piercing attack. Now this is new to the uh, recent patch, when they, re when they did some uh, patch balancing, uh, they made a little update to Arathas, and one of those was the 24% uh, piercing attack. What that means is, if I shoot something, uh, it has a chance of going through one target and into another. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to set myself in a position where I will be able to uh, do that. Okay. But I want to make sure that I can also, if I want to, equip these. I take off the bow, for example. I also want to be able to change out my boots if I need to. I'm good. It's all the strength I'm gonna need. So, I just give it even eighty. All right. Um, from there, we're gonna start with. About a hundred, by hundred and fifty vitality, I think. Be a good place to start. Now, there are going to be some people who are just like, no, how dare you put anything into dexterity? And I might decide not to put everything into dexterity. But before I assign the rest of my points, I want to at least experience it. Um, and we're going to go right back to Holy Fire, the way we were playing it before. Yo, yo, Wayne, how you doing? So we're, uh, we're using the last of the respects. I did a little research, I found some, of course, you can't always uh, depend on, um, you know, builds online because a lot of times they're made for expansion sets and all that, but um, I think I found a pretty decent reason to go with what I'm doing here. I'm going to lose this fire, bring that up.
Yep, this is the last respec, right? It's the last one. Um, we're gonna run one point into there right now. And instead of doing Holy Shock, we're gonna do Holy Freeze. Now, um, the reason for that, I can choose either safety or I can choose damage. And I would rather be safe than have lots of damage. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. All right. Now. Not in town. All right. So. Okay. I want to show you what I'm doing here. This Ravenclaw that shoots fire, uh, fires explosive arrows or bolts. Um, and what that means is my holy fire actually applies to the explosion as well as to uh, the initial arrow. Um, and, and if I miss, uh, the explosion still uh, shows up. Oops, well, I'm in normal mode, so I'm probably not going to be able to shoot anything. Let's get to Nightmare, see what we're doing. Whew. Oh, what is going on with this thing? Here, bring the camp down. There we go. So this is it. This is the last respec. There is no going forward after this. I mean, no matter what, it's the going forward, right? So, all right. Oh, I wanted to show you what I did. I got the Ravenclaw. I got the Fool. Um, Ratha set and uh, gives me a huge boost to uh, you know uh, resistances as well as gives me piercing which is great um, and then the three angelic halos uh, set pieces right gives me a huge boost to attack rating as well as a nice boost to my dexterity the nightmare gives me 45 all res which means in hell mode, I'm at five resistance of all, which is not great. Here we go, now I'm at 50 resistance to all. All right, let's go here to Stony Field. Yes, uh, piercing is new. That just came out in the last patch. Um, so that's exciting. Um, so it's possible that one of my arrows will go right through one of these holes. And, um, they go right through them past another person, hit them again. Let's murder some cows. We're going hunting. Oh, see, that their arrow passed through that guy and hit the wall, which is cool. Now, the reason why I, I really wanted to focus on this piercing, um, is... Uh, very simple. Um, if I miss a target, the explosion will still be there. But if I hit the target, um, the fire damage uh, comes from the explosion, but also from the actual arrow. So it's like getting double damage. And if it pierces, that means there's that op that same formula can happen to the person behind. Um, so it could be four times the damage after like one shot. Oh god. Oh, this is so fun. Oh god. I cannot tell you how satisfying this is. Oh man. Now, I do need to keep my eye on my arrows, but they doubled the um, arrows. Uh, in the last. 
patch. The order welcomes you. Time to merge some cows. Oops. if I flip it to Holy Freeze. Now my Holy Freeze is not going to do nearly as much damage um, because the Holy Fire is where most of my points are. But can I flip it like that? Can I turn on Holy Freeze, freeze up the cows, and then switch to fire? Eh, not really. Yeah, nice easy cows. I, I'm so excited by how well this is doing. I think I'm going to try to knock down Andaru. Dun dun dun! We'll see. I'm level 50. See, did you see a couple of those? They pierced through. They went way past the target. guilty about is that I built this character around a plus two paladin shield, a plus two paladin amulet, and a plus two paladin uh, scepter that I may never use.
Oops. Eviscerated. All right, all right, all right. I'll take a look at the grim scythe just because of my curiosity. Let's see. Nope. Let's see here. Yes. All right, Rain, what do you want to see? Do you want to see me kill more cows? Or do you want to see me take on Ondario? All right, let's take Andy. I haven't put any points into dexterity. We're gonna see, before I put any points there, we're gonna see how I do. I'm gonna need more arrows. What you need? least I can just run away. I love how Holy Freeze works on uh, those who are cool to me. Well, 
obviously it's not getting the Okay, I don't want to waste any arrows on that. It doesn't do enough damage right now to justify using it in this way. I can't even do this. So I'm definitely going to be, to be buying some of these, uh, what do they call them? Stamina potions. I should probably... I need to find a way to... Oh, sweet. There's one point. Alright. Shoot, rocks. Rocks. Oh, my God. 
I got stuck between some rock. I got stuck between a rock and a hard place. Alright. Well, good thing I found the waypoint right away. God. Oh man, those fire immunes are rough. They really are. I mean, I know I eventually I'll be able to take them pretty easily. But I think in the meantime, I'm gonna need to get a uh, cold mercenary helped helping me out. <laughs> it's funny. She looked at her level. And uh, I suddenly realized her name was Kyle. All right, Kyle, let's go. Let's get rolling, Kyle. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, okay. Be a little on your level. Yeah, tight spaces are really rough. Oh man. I mean, I could just turn on my holy freeze and just run through. And maybe that's what I should do. Um.
my Uy, ve. Fallons, dude, they are not. Um... They swarm you, you know? Um... I'm gonna need some more, um, some seriously some more cool damage. Fire is great. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna need something to be able to take out those talons. Chaos Sanctuary and Nightmare Night. Right? Good luck a little bit. For the cows. Cows should be well. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I mean this is a far cry from the struggle we had yesterday too. You know? Sailing in Everest, yes. 
Uh, until we get to the fire base. And then we're gonna try to... Now, I do have to give uh, props to a channel here. Um, oh gosh, I don't remember the guy's name. I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, because he gave me this idea. Yeah, the exploding area is super nice. And the exploding damage, it's not just, you know, the, it's not just the initial hit that gets affected by the holy fire, but the whole explosion gets affected by the holy fire, you know? I can't carry anymore. And if it, if it pierces, you know, then, uh, then it's even better. Have a similar situation in the colonies, the Chaos Sanctuary. Well, we're gonna have a very similar situation. Except maybe we'll slip by these guys. The best I can do is kind of herd them around like a bunch of zombies. Oh my god. I wish I could target easier. The targeting on controller, I mean, I should be able to hit and select a target, but that's not so easy. Boy. Oh. I 
do feel a bit like uh, Brave Sir Robin running away again. I should put a portal up. I just want to pick up these potions, but I can't. Oh, so much for smooth sailing in the CS. Lots of them. Cows are great experience. I think I should probably stick around with the coot with the cows, the moo moo farm.
problem I'm ha one of the problems I'm having is that when I want to pick stuff up, I end up shooting. Okay. Which, you know, I could probably, okay, I think I know how to fix that. I'm going to turn this into a first person shooter. It's like that. Smite skill right here, if I ever need it. Then we can pick up weapons and armor. Now the question is, why is it going to talk to Wave? Well, Deckard. Greeting. Cash in. Go back up again. All right. Cool. Hopefully, that fixes things a little bit. We get some more arrows. All right. Let's try this again. I'm getting a huge amount of experience. I'll stick around the Hellboat Lines. Hey, Flexter join! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Did you jump on in the cows? We're gonna level up. I'll be right here with you. You're level 25, so it should be great. <laughs> oh, he's already... Okay, I don't know why. Can Flexter hear me? I don't know if he can hear me or not. I don't know if he's watching or anything. He's not in the Discord. Is he in the chat with uh, what else? No, oh, looks like it's just you and me today, Wayne. So Flex was in my game though. No, he's in chill out nutrition for some reason though. And I have no indication that he can hear the words that I'm saying. Mm. What do you think, Wayne? Do you think I should uh, even worry about dexterity at all? Do you think I should dump everything into vitality? Remember, this is the last respec. Yeah, I think you're right. No matter what happens, if I hit 
if I shoot, I'm gonna hit. Uh, at least with the explosion. Uh, but it is possible for the arrow to miss, and I still get the explosion. And of course, you can't hear some of this. That's gonna give me I don't know. Does this look like it's getting 123 to 128 and moving up to Solid, very, very, very solid experience. Oh, 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 oh,
one and a half levels. I already leveled and I'm already halfway to leveling again. Um, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to be sticking. Oops. The Fletcher's my friend now, so I can just invite him. Maybe he's not my friend. I just do that again. Did I seriously just make another private game? Oh, yeah. There's something wrong with me. Hey, Flexter. All right, cool. I'm gonna run this again.
All right, Flexer, I'm rolling. Oh my god, this was fire and cold. Oh. Oh. Well, at least I can... Oh! 
I finally shut that cow. Oh, you got my golden jump. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. The four socketed flail. Okay. I mean, we don't have rune words. Um, so. Elemental stuff, but that'd be really temporary. Um, Said that uh, I'm out of town portals. We uh, pop a town portal up over here. Sure. Gold. Oh, it looks like you might have picked it back up. Yes. Thank you, Flexi. Appreciate it. Oh, you got more? Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks, Flexi. I appreciate it, my gold. Thanks for grabbing it for me. I am overburdened. You leveling up? Yeah, you leveled up several times. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Flexter, how about you uh, make a new game and uh, name it Hyperdocs 3, make it public uh, so anyone can join if they want to. And um, we can do Act 3 uh, for, Oh, actually, you know what? Wait a second. No, no, never mind. Don't do that. Here, follow me. Go to Act 3 real quick. We're putting Amethyst for ARB pointless. Uh, for now, yeah, it would probably be pointless. Um, you're about to change. Everything about your character is about to change um, in two levels, so I wouldn't do much. Um, don't, I mean, don't worry about it. Um, Come on down to uh, Act 3, go to the town, and um, we'll, uh, we'll get you ready to take on Mephisto.
All right, go ahead and grab that. Now we're gonna organ skip the. Uh, we're gonna organ skip Diablo uh, Act Three. We're just gonna walk down these stairs together. Should be able to come down the stairs. There we go. You should be getting huge experience right now. Here's turn to fate level two. Now, Flexor, put up a town portal. If you die, you won't be able to use any of my portals. That's how the glitch works. So go ahead and put up a town portal. Do this. No, don't go. You won't be able to come back. Oh, <laughs> no. Unfortunately, it's not around here. So you're not able to go into um, my town portal is where we use this glitch. Um, so uh, once we get to level two, it's a more dangerous area. So make your own town portal. So if you die, you'll be able to come back. There we go. All right. Back up, run away, and they'll pop. Run away, they'll pop. Alright. Ooh, Shiza almost died. Ooh. That's why the best the best response from them is to run away. And my uh, my aura will take care of it. You got any potions?
Thank you. Thank you. Where are you at? 28 still? Yolo, what up? How you doing, the tiny noob? Thanks for joining us today. Uh, right now, I don't know if you know, but we're, uh, I'm playing Diablo 2 Classic. One of my viewers, his name is Flexter. Oof. Oof. That hurt. Uh, one of my viewers, his name is Flexter, he's actually... Uh, joined our discord we've been playing around uh, together and uh, we're playing Diablo 2 classic classic means non-expansion um, and uh, so yeah we um, without expansion means we don't have rune words we don't have uh, uh, mercenaries that you can gear out um, all of our sets and uniques are on the normal level. We don't have any um, elite items at all. So yeah. It's a different playing experience. I'm running with a ranger. So. Are you a uh, are you a Diablo two player yourself?
Looks like Flex just found the waiting point. That's my assumption. Oh, you're at level three. Okay, well, you won't be able to get the quest from level three. You, you need to get the waypoint. That's what we're looking for here. But level three means that the waypoint uh, is going to be up and to the left of the tile. So that should be over here. Alright, here it is, Flexer. Level 3, Durance of Hate, level 3. Or sorry, um, Waypoint is what I meant to say. Nope, over here we're done. You at level 30 yet? Um, go ahead and make yourself a new game. When you make a new game, um, make it like Hyperdox 3 or something like that. Uh, make it Nightmare and we'll get you to um, Act 4 Diablo. With a party of five. What does that mean, rating? Hey guys, I'm new to Twitch. Classic old school, number one. Yo, 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 raid. Huh. I don't know what this is. Lemon, 10975. Hey, how you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're playing uh, some classic Diablo 2 right now. Uh, which means uh, non-expansion Diablo. Looks like you, uh, you you seem to be familiar. Oh, they brought their viewers here. Hey, that's a nice thing. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, the tiny noob. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm new to uh, Twitch myself. I've been uh, making content on YouTube. So are you guys classic uh, makers yourself, or are you guys? Um, uh, the cool bananas. So is that your uh, <laughs> is is that your fan base? You call them the cool bananas. I like that, man. <laughs> okay, you play ladder. Well, I'm on ladder too. I'm on ladder. I'm on ladder classic. But I'm guessing what you mean is uh, ladder uh, expansion. That's cool, man. It's real cool. Uh, I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. What are you guys playing on? Uh, PC, PC, everybody. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I would play on PC, but I got to use the old graphics because my computer is terrible. 
<laughs> uh, that's cool. So I'm waiting for Flexer to make his game. All right, let's try to make it here. Well, if you guys are interested in giving me a follow, um, I'm over at, um, I'm on YouTube. Hyperdox uh, is my YouTube channel. And I'm also here on Twitch at Hyperdox uh, OD. And I have a Discord. If you guys want to join us in the Discord, maybe we'll get to be uh, together to play um, uh, some classic or even some expansion. I've got some expansion characters as well. Okay, so you didn't make a hyperdock. Yeah. An affiliate. Sweet. Appreciate it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for uh, Flexer to make his game. Maybe he made it normal. Oh, must have been in Hyperdox too. Hey, there you are. Toad. <laughs> yeah, the switch layout is kind of funky. Is it four? Yeah, switch layout is kind of funky. Um, you know, for the longest time, I thought we could make passworded games, but couldn't join them because it's not very... Um, uh, how do I describe it? Not very user friendly, I think. There we go. There we go, and join. Yeah, so there's a, there's a couple benefits uh, to playing on Switch. The first of which is you can play in bed, you know, or on the john. Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, you are limited, you, you know, the graphics can't be as good. You can only have um, uh, up to four players uh, in the game. But it also means that our community is more tight-knit, which is nice. And the classic Twitch, the, the classic uh, Switch community is uh, me and my guys. So there's not a whole lot of uh, classic Switch players. Am I tripping? He was in here, wasn't he? Just imagine this. Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly what happened with my guy, but... Flexor, this is for... So I'm rolling, so let me show you my gear real quick. Uh, so I'm making a classic Ranger Auradin. So I'll show you my skill tree. I got one point into Might, 20 into Holy Fire. Uh, so far 17 into Holy Free, so that's almost maxed out. Um, I have only one point into Smite for the occasional uh, boss fight. But I'm mostly farming uh, monsters. And then I have uh, 20 points and to resist fire. Uh, when I finish uh, with Holy Freeze, I'm gonna put the rest of those points into resist cold and also the salvation. Um, Holy Fire is, uh, all of that damage is going to into my Raven Claw. So see how it says fires, explosive arrows or bolts, all that damage is gonna go in. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, fortunately, I don't have to worry about fighting bear runes when I play in classic, so uh, I get to avoid messy situations. <laughs> so.
So, um, uh, yeah, so I'm running with the Ravenclaw uh, for those explosive arrows. Uh, I have the Angelic Mantle uh, with the two Angelic Rings for that nice boost to my attack rating. Uh, and then I have the full Aratha set. Aratha set gives me the 24% piercing attack, which makes it so my arrow can go through and penetrate uh, sometimes. Um, and yeah, so this is this is what we're running. So far it gives me 55 uh, resistances in Nightmare, which means in Hell Mode, um, ooh, Monster Shrine. Let's see who wants to fight me. I always love a Monster Shrine. Where's Death's Advocate? Yep. I don't know. Alright. Anyway, so the idea is if I run into fire immunes, no big deal. I'll just swap over to Holy Freeze. Also, Holy Freeze makes it so I can get away. There we go. Flex to join back. Oh, we got disconnected. Okay. That's fine. Let's see here. So how do you guys choose to do a raid on who, who you choose? You, know, how, you just kind of uh, spit a wheel and see what happens? <laughs> Alright, right on over here, bud. Okay. So you like to raid someone within the same group at Diablo 2? Cool. Okay. So do you uh, do you see a lot of other uh, content creators producing for uh, classic? Oh, cool viewers. Okay. Well, hopefully I can carve out a nice niche. Friendship. Yeah, a sense of community. I like that. Uh, I feel welcome. Oi, next story. Killing me, brother. I mean, actually, killing me. <laughs> no, it'll be okay. Ooh. That Warhammer. Oh, you got it? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard of, uh, uh, is it, I think it might have been Ninja or it might have been someone else. Maybe even Mr. Beast. Is Mr. Beast on Twitch? Um, you know, he'll raid 
or somebody was raiding somebody and they ended up getting, you know, started dumping like uh, huge amounts of cash on her, which was cool. I've got... Oh, yes. Look at this stash. Look, look what I have to work with. Look at this. I really wish that uh, Blizzard would pay attention to what we want, uh, which is we want to have the same stash as everyone else. We want a shared stash. Even if you gave me a normal stash like this and then a shared stash that was like everybody else, we'd be happy with that. All right. All right, Flexer, are you uh, level 30 yet? No, not yet. As soon as you're level 30, brother, we're gonna get you equipped. Oh, well, I use my, um, I use these ones to make my full rejuvenation potions. Yeah, well, you know, I, I hear people say that, Lightning, uh, but here's the thing about it. Um, the idea behind um, uh, the idea behind the larger stash was actually a selling point uh, to purchase Lord of Destruction 20 years ago, right? But now that Lord of Destruction uh, comes with the Diablo 2 Resurrected, uh, you don't have to pay extra for it, but we should be able to get those QOL, the QOL uh, features, um, just like everyone else. And then the other thing is, you know, if you notice, I didn't have to click on that gold. I just walked over it, right? Um, that's a QOL feature that is distinct to uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected. You can't get that on Lord of Destruction, right? Um, so... Uh, I understand that having a small stash was, you know, part of what made Classic Diablo Classic Diablo, but um, as, uh, as has been said by the developers, nothing is gained uh, as far as gameplay is concerned uh, by dropping items on the floor and transferring them to a mule, right? That doesn't help anything. And then the other thing is this, uh, when... We had single player back in the day on Diablo 2 uh, Classic. We had what was called TCP IP, which means that even on a single player game, um, I could either go on to Open Battle.net or I could make a TCP IP game um, and transfer items that way. If I'm on single player and I'm playing D2R, there is no mealing of any items whatsoever. Every character's got to be completely untwicked. Um, and that's, you know, that's just unfortunate. So, um, you know, really, really, when it gets down to it, a lot of people who prefer to play classic, we prefer to play it because of, um, uh, certain aspects of the game are just completely different. Like, for example, uh, this bow is the only item in the game, uh, that gives me access to another, uh, classes. Um, skill tree, and it's not even really a skill tree, it just fires the arrows, right? Um, but like the idea that, for example, uh, Wolf Howl, right? Where the barbarian can wear that helmet and get access to druid skills, yeah, uh, or, or Beast, same thing, where you get access to druid skills and paladin skills, you know? Um, the, the character classes are more defined. Uh, in in classic, um, and because of that, there's less cookie cutter, less cookie cutter builds. You know, everybody doesn't need to have Enigma, right? Because only the sorcerers can teleport. Period. There's no teleport charges or anything like that. So the the actual gameplay mechanics are different on classic. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, um, and those distinctions are what keep people playing the game um, in the classic mode. And the stash has nothing to do with that. If that helps. Hopefully you're picking up what I'm laying down.
Yeah, meta build. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, meta build. Well, one thing, for example, is, um, that bothers me, and this has actually been a, a thing that bothered me since, oh, probably patch 1.12 or something like that, or patch 1.10, is how... Um, the rune words, in my opinion, have made many of the items in the game, you know. Hey, tiny noob, I appreciate you coming and visiting us for a bit. I really appreciate you bringing uh, some new eyes uh, to my channel. And I uh, hope you have a blessed night. Have a great night, man. Good night. Um, but you said, uh, I love the banana family. That's great. How did you how did you come up with your I, I, I don't know I, <laughs> your fan base right how did you end up calling them banana people right that's that's cool your banana family um let me see here Oh, what I was trying to say is, uh, earlier, um, I, just, I started playing the game at 1.07, uh, so I, I remember this, you know, from a long time ago, you know, as a child, and, um, when Spirit Rune Word was introduced, uh, the fact you get Spirit on a shield and on a, uh, weapon meant that basically every staff in the game was no longer desirable, you know? Um, because if you couldn't get 70 faster cast rate and plus 40 skills, or uh, plus 4 skills, um, and resistances, and vitality, and mana, you know, on a unique item or a rare item, then it was just, you know, especially when the, when the, I can't carry um, when the runes to get those items are so cheap, you know. It basically deleted a lot of items. Yeah, I've heard about those. Um, are you talking about like Median XL or... Six sockets and a wound force. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I heard about the whole corruption stuff. I, I don't quite understand it. I think they're uh, making more complicated crafting systems in the game. I think that's really cool too. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think also, though, a lot of the classic guys are, are just not into um, having access to other skill tree, uh, other class skills. So, um, Path of Diablo 2. Yeah, PD2. I've heard about this. Uh, Path of Diablo. Well, he said, oh, he's talking about Project Diablo 2. You're saying Path of Diablo 2. Gotcha. PD2 is a bad version of PD2. That's interesting. Um...
I would be interested in playing a um, a version of Diablo 2 uh, where uh, classic players are able to have access to the um, the fifth act because uh, I would love I would love to see how some of our builds would fare against them. Also, it's really hard to get to level 99 on classic. I like to see like level 85 areas. That'd be really neat. In fact, I'm, I, I might be making a video right now. <laughs> yeah, you can take those. Those are yours, dude. And those are all yours. I'm gonna take a nose. Are you okay, Flexer? Okay, go ahead and take your take your gems. There you go. Let's see. Alright, Flex, what we're gonna do uh, now is we're gonna get your uh, barbarian set up. So go ahead and make a normal game. And, uh, you know, make it Cyberdox 5, Password 5, something like that. And we'll get you set up with a Bone Snap um, and uh, some nice, nice gear. Uh, do you know about Median XL? Like, what exactly is that? I mean, it looked like they had different animations. It looks like it was super fast. Hey Flexer, make a um, make a new uh, private game. Wow, five. That's interesting. Yeah, make it a normal game. My mules aren't a nightmare. I heard that um, that uh, Project Diablo 2 added new areas. Did um, Path of Diablo also add new areas?
added mapping. What do you mean by added mapping? Good day. All right, Flexter. First of all, come grab this bone snap. Should have a new ladder soon. That's cool. Are any of these um, good with uh, um, D2R? Are there any mods for D2R yet? <laughs> well, that's another thing that's cool about being on Classic and on Switch. There's not a whole lot of, uh, I mean, there's not a lot of body in Classic at all. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, also, though, that when you're playing with Classic, you're not looking for rooms. You're not looking for unique items. And you're not looking for sets. You're mostly looking for rares. Um, because rare items are what make this game, you know, what it is. You know. My hammer. All right. So, Flexter, go ahead and um, uh, let's. Uh, so, let me put it this way: you're gonna want to have um, some points in the vitality, but not or not vitality. You're gonna hold on. You're gonna want to have some points in the dexterity, but not a whole lot of them, right? Um, I'd probably limit your dexterity to about 75 to 100. Okay, now if you want to use angelics, 
uh, that's cool. I use Angelics myself. Uh, I use one at least. Um, but then you're going to be missing out on uh, resistances and things like that that you could be getting from good rare rings. So uh, what I would do is um, I would just uh, do the very basic, you know, whirlwind barb. Uh, number one, max out mace mastery. Uh, number two, um, put one point into your um, all of your combat skills coming down to whirlwind, and one point into berserk as well. Then you're gonna want to put one point into howl, one point into shout. Uh, as many points as you can into battle orders and then one point in the battle command. Um, a 300 strength build is right about where you want to be with your barbarian. You want to have about 300 strength. Uh, my barbarian uses a little bit less because I um, I am a gold fine barb, so I'm a little bit different. Greetings. I love that phraseology, left our world. Well, um, he picked up the items I dropped. Uh, I doubt that he wants these other items, but I'll pick them up. For him Not here. In case. I can't carry anymore. Oh, Flexer, you're back. Did you want these items, or are you uh, done with them? Let's try to gamble you up some boots. I don't think I uh, I don't think I got you any good boots. Let's deal, my friend. Actually, you know what? I should gamble with a, a lower level character here. Gotta make the boots less cost less money and it'll also uh, eliminate some of the Less desirable prefixes and affixes. I'll be right back. Let's jamble up some boots. Oh, hey, I need my gold back. I hope you're not gambling. Let me gamble. I'm at, I'm at the right level for it. Oh, 
Now, Flex, should I give you any boots? Show me everything I gave you. I forgot if I gave you a full character or not. What are you missing? Yeah, let me see what you... Let, let me see what items... Okay, so you got good gloves. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Alright. You got the bone snap. Okay. Okay. So you need um, some boots, another ring, uh, and an amulet probably, right? So let's go, let's start with boots. Oops. These ones are the ones I'm most likely to get. Good stats on. All right. All right, shrink three more. Great on resist, but pretty good. There you go. Oh, these are even, oh whoa, these are even way better. Okay, don't use those ones. Use those ones. Oh my god. Jeez. Jeez. I don't know if I want to give you these. <laughs> oh, you can have them. Oh my god, makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um He needs a ring, he says. I think I spent all my gold I can't Yeah, I can't do a ring. I'm all out of gold. Alright, Flexer, come take over take come take these boots before I change my mind. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. Um, yeah, I think those were for some pretty damn good boots. My God. Um, so you need an amulet and a ring. Uh, I think probably the best I could do for that is like, let's see. I can give you an angelic. Amulet and maybe an Angela Green. Oh! Here, take that. Yeah, that'll do you. And then you'll have to wait for another amulet. I don't know. I don't have anything for you. But, um. Yeah. This is Soulfist. That's, that's alright. Um, ah, man. Cool. Well, you are about the right time, right, a, right level to be running Nightmare um, Diablo. So let's go run Nightmare Diablo. Did you put uh, points into... Well, actually, you know what? I gotta go. It's bedtime, bedtime, man. I can't carry anymore. I gotta, I gotta get some sleep. Um, I hope everybody had a great time watching the uh, the channel, and I, we had some good conversation. I'm really thankful for uh, the raid um, that was brought to us by the banana people, <laughs> the banana family, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, all right, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.